So we've got some more leaks and news regarding Nvidia's rumored but pretty much confirmed GTX 1600 series of GPUs. Now I've covered the 1660 Ti in my past videos, but there are two other cards that have been leaked that I haven't really heard much about. This specifically is the GTX 1650 and GTX 1660. Now the specs on these cards were actually leaked a few weeks ago, but they haven't really been discussed much and there's only been really a few big news outlets that have even mentioned the leaked cards. So my information today comes from Tech Power Up, and if you want to read all this information for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to the pages of these two leaked cards. Now, because these are leaks, and there's probably a good reason as to why we haven't heard much about these cards, I would take everything in this video with a huge grain of salt, as even if this list is true, they are subject to change before Nvidia ships a unit. So let's get into this. Now, the GTX 1660 under the hood seems to literally just be a copy and paste over from the GTX 1060 6 gig. Core configuration and memory size is literally almost nearly a carbon copy of last generation's 1080p king. While the 1060 is still a great card, getting a product that we already have isn't really as exciting as getting something completely new. So we'll be focusing mostly on the 1650 in this video instead. Alright, so what kind of silicon is the GTX 1650 packing? Well, with 896 CUDA cores, this card offers just over 2.6 teraflops of performance, which honestly isn't really that different than what last generation's Budget King, the GTX 1050 Ti, was able to offer. With 56 TMUs and 36 ROPs, this card seems to be an upgrade over the 1050 Ti, but at the same time it probably wouldn't be worth upgrading from the older Pascal cards to the newer, shinier Turing-based ones. Tech Power Up ranks the 1650 to be about 15% faster than the 1050 Ti, but still 44% behind the GTX 1060. Now, if we want to compare to some older cards, the 1650 seems to still be slower than the GTX 970, which is still behind the RX 570 and even the 6-year-old GTX 780 Ti. Along with the spec list, we also have a leaked launch MSRP of $179. Yeah. In all honesty, this card seems to be a great successor to the now 3 year old 1050 Ti. But at the price point that it's leaked to launch at, it puts it in direct competition with AMD's RX 570, which is said to still be quite a bit faster than the 1650. While this spec list could very well be wrong, it does make quite a bit of sense, especially when stacking it up to the 1050 Ti. And with only 4 gigs of GDDR6, it falls behind a little bit, especially when you can buy an 8 gig RX 570 and even an RX 480 for that matter for the same price as the 1650. Now, do I hope that the 1650 is a great card that offers excellent performance for its price point? Of course I do. I would never want any company to fail, whether it's Nvidia or AMD. I love both of these companies, and I've supported both of them in the past, whether it be monetarily or even just posting something about them. But from what this leaked spec list is hinting at, the 1650 seems to fall behind what AMD currently offers. Now, once again, this list could be completely wrong, and for all we know, this card could be the GTX 1060 killer. But from what information we currently have, it leaves me a bit worried, but also incredibly curious. I really do hope that this card turns out to be a great value, and I can't wait to see Nvidia surprise us with another awesome budget-friendly card. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also tell us, what do you think about the GTX 1650 and subsequently the GTX 1660? Do you think the leaked spec lists are at all accurate, and will you be looking into these cards in the future? Do you think that the 1650 will actually fall behind the RX 570, or do you think it'll be an excellent 1050 Ti successor? We can't wait to see what you guys have to say, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.